We're on the reef in the Florida Keys with Dr. Larry Wood. He has been studying Hawksbill sea turtles for over 20 years. What do you have there, Larry? Yeah, this is a nice little juvenile Hawksbill turtle that we uh, just captured a little while ago off the reef. And what's kind of neat about this one is that we've encountered this one before. So it was about a year ago when we were here and sure enough, we got this guy for the first time and came back this year and he's living in the same place. Awesome, so they're territorial. You'll find them in the same place. Sure, for some period of time anyway. I mean, they, they can move if, if they feel like it. <laughs> but we found that many of them really like to maintain sort of a small uh, home range or territory over time. And uh, this one, we just determined, has grown over 10 centimeters, I think, here in the and last year. Wow, right. so there must be some good eats down there. Right, he went basically from 2 kilograms to 6 kilograms, so... Awesome. Now, you're not just out here grabbing turtles. Sea turtles are protected by state and federal law, so how are you doing this? So, um, well, technically speaking, many years ago, I applied for permits. <laughs> uh, and so we get research permits to conduct various projects. So my goals are to learn about the abundance and the distribution of hawksbill turtles in Florida waters. And in simpler terms, that means how many and where are they, where can they be found. We'd also like to know other kind of um, clues about their biology and their lifestyle. So